Green Head is named after the large upcropping of land on the northwest side of the island and just north of Dominion Park proper. The area is also connected to the Stonehammer Geopark due to its interesting and very old rock formations. There's also a bald eagle's nest in the area. Greenhead Cove is an area of historical significance. The cove and its turn-of-the-century rock quarry and lime kilns were an economic driver near the end of the 1800s. One company to note was the Armstrong Lime Company owned by Joseph and Frank Armstrong. The Armstrong Quarry was a supplier for most of the mortar materials used in the uptown St. John area after the Great Fire of 1877. Many foundations and pilings still exist to this day. The area is home to a decent beach and there are a few moorings in place of Pasolo watermark. Also located in the area is the Green Head Cave, located 25 feet up the cliff on the east side of the beach and runs roughly 300 feet into the rock face. Present day Swift Point or Green Head Light was constructed in 1896 and sits 50 feet high, roughly 105 feet above the high water mark. The tower is equipped with a green light using a 2 second flash and 10 second eclipse. Visual range of the light is roughly 4 nautical miles. Swift Point proper is located at the mouth of the Narrows. The point is the beginning of the funnel that leads to the reversing falls further down the river. Caution is urged in this area as the point gets its name from the fast-running ebb tide currents that begin here and get stronger the further into the Narrows one proceeds. It is highly recommended that paddlers in this area first check the tidal forecast for the area to ensure that you're in the area at slack, either slack high water or slack low water. 